Hello. I found a new avatar that I liked. And well, it's finally here. And just how uh, a change in my look was highly anticipated. So is this video. And it's finally here. The follow up to the smash hit series Sasaki and Miyano called Sasaki and Miyano Graduation. And in this movie, we finally find out if they smashed and hit it. Hello everyone, Ren here, or Alias, and today I shall discuss the movie, as I just mentioned. The movie begins with actually a teaser for uh, the other BL manga that, of the same author, uh, Hirano and Kagura. <laughs> the, first, the first 10 minutes of the movie is uh, Hirano and Kagura's uh, relationship, how they fell in love with each other. Honestly, it feels like an advertising telling you to go buy the manga. <laughs> and I didn't mind it, honestly, even though I would like more Sasaki and Miyano. I didn't mind this, because Hirano's voice by Kirito. And as you know, SAO is my favorite series. And uh, honestly, in those 10 minutes, nothing happens. It was cursed by the rom-com slow pacing uh, curse. You know, the curse that afflicts all of the series where they kiss on episode 11 minute 30 on a 12 season on a 12 episode season yeah they get affected by that they just talk they don't do anything but then after those 10 minutes are up we get to see our boy miyano and a little bit later our other boy sasaki they're walking towards each other and we and the movie is about how they spend their final days in high school together because uh, if you recall, Miyano is a year younger than Sasaki, so Sasaki is graduating high school and applying for college exams and all this stuff, while Miyano is still in high school. And so far, the first, the first like, 20 minutes of the movie is just rom-com stuff, you know, they talk about their life and stuff, nothing to write home about. Like, this goddamn director keeps edging us with... BL moments, you know, the cuddling, the kissing, he keeps like, he keeps going like, oh, oh, you wanna, you wanna see this, oh, oh I'm gonna show it, and then he doesn't show it. There were, there was no hand holding, no kisses, nothing for the first half of the movie. And we are in this goddamn edging session until, me until Sasaki gets sick for one of the scenes, and Miyano takes care of him. Uh, he's wearing a mask, he brings some food and stuff like that. Uh, there's a scene where they're both like sitting beside the bed, not on the bed. And Miyano asks, do you want affection? And he holds out his hands. And as they're about to, you know, cuddle and stuff, Sasaki's sister walks in. I was like, come on, this is like fireworks cliche levels. <laughs> Uh, it was, you know, infuriating, like, come on, you have the whole series to do this, can you, can you give us something? Luckily, they do kiss at the end of the scene, but through their mask, because, you know, Sasaki's sick, so, yeah, I kind of knew there wasn't gonna, nothing was gonna happen, because, you know, Sasaki was sick, that was the excuse, they don't want to get each other sick, so, goddamn, I wish it wasn't a mask kiss. <laughs> And then we get to the next scene, which is really, really sweet. Like, immediate redemption. Like, okay, I'll accept being edged if you're gonna put a scene like this in the movie. Miyano asks his mom if he can make chocolates in the house. Because uh, Valentine's Day is approaching and Sasaki and Miyano want to make chocolates. And Miyano's mom says, oh, don't you usually give chocolates to someone you like? And uh, Miyano confesses, he's like, oh, there, there, there is someone I like. And then he says, uh, he's a guy, uh, he's a guy that's coming over, you know? Like, he confesses he likes a guy to his mom. For the first time, <laughs> he came out, and his mom is totally cool about that. She even says, oh, it's sweet that you like someone as much as I like your dad. I got them. I came here to watch a BL, to watch my boys kiss. And my heart warming from all the romance. I expect my heart to be warming from this type of uh, emotion. It was very, very sweet. Amazing scene. 
I'm getting tingles as I speak about it. <laughs> then they make the Valentine's Day chocolate exchange, which, you know, it was a pretty sweet scene. It, they were baking together and stuff. The thing I like about the this Valentine's Day uh, scenario is that it really shows both of their personalities. Uh, Sasaki, when they were making chocolates, uh, wrapped one of the chocolates on a ribbon and stuff to give to Miyano. And Miano panicked because he was like, oh, he's giving me something, but I don't have anything to give him because I thought the chocolates was the gift. Ran to a convenience store, bought a coffee can, wrapped a ribbon about it, and just handed it to Sasaki. So, you know, they would be even on the gift exchange. Like, it really shows their personalities of Sasaki being really, really sweet unexpectedly, and Miano panicking, not knowing what to do when someone's sweet to them. And, you know, not knowing that it was okay if he didn't give anything, he didn't have to, but he still wanted to. <laughs> you know, it shows, it shows their personalities at their best. We then find out that Sasaki passed his exams. Hell yeah, boy is smart. Sasaki had to go to school to, to report that he passed. Well, he didn't have to go to school, actually. He just, uh... He just wanted to go in person so he could see Miano, you know? <laughs> and uh, he calls Miano over to his classroom, it's empty, because he wanted to cuddle and kiss with Miano. And they actually cuddle and kiss. Hell yeah. Like, finally. It's been over half of the movie and we haven't seen them, like, like, being, like, kissing. And they're finally kissing. And as they're cuddling and kissing, you know, going, going into each other, not not like that, <laughs> not not like that. But Miano says, I, "I'm not an uke," which means I'm not a bottom. <laughs> I'm calling cap, mega cap. That that that's cap. But fuck it, we balling in this scene. And just like life, you edge and then goon. We've been edge for a series. And over half a goddamn movie, and now we get to goon. They kiss more in the floor, like they kiss more than they go in the floor. You know the, the the pin, <laughs> you know the pin down. Uh, uh, this is the floor. Uh, Miana's here. Sasaki's like this, and they they both are like. And they are both hard like, oh, I'm okay if we don't go further. But internally, they're both like, I want to go further. But they're both thinking, oh, but we're at school, should we go further? And they were taking each other's jackets off. And then the scene ends and it transitions to Miana being like, I can't believe we did that in school. So they didn't have sex. Or did they? It is left to your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I think they did, because they were alone in a classroom, uh, they were in the moment, they were already taking each other's like clothes off, like, they could have done it. <laughs> we then uh, get to see them hang out a little bit more afterwards, after this whole scene is over, and we discover some family drama, after Sasaki tells his sister that he's dating Miyano. And when Sasaki confesses to her sister that he's dating a guy, the sister says, why? And she does like the, <gasps> a gasp, and runs away. Then they both go catch up to her and her boyfriend. And she apologizes because uh, she said something insensitive. Or she thinks that she said something insensitive. Uh, the reason why it was insensitive, the why, is because... Uh, it came off as like, why are you dating if he's a guy, you know? And she's and she then says, of course, you're dating each other because you like each other. It doesn't matter that you're both guys. And she apologizes for saying why and hurting Miyano's feelings and all this stuff. And Miyano's like, no, it's it's okay. <laughs> you know, it's a honest mistake. Then it's graduation day. Our boys do one less walk through campus, and we get to see all of campus, and we get to see the gay cats again. This is the second Beale movie that I've seen cats being used as a gay allegory. The first one was Stranger by the Shore. <laughs> and as they walk through campus, 
uh, they reminisce about the memories, you know, and the show's flashbacks of uh, episodes in the series and how they fell in love with each other. And at the end, they share one less kiss in high school. And uh, Miyano, and we're left with Miyano being the narrator, saying, "Our story will, our story together will continue. It will not end in high school." And my goodness, what a way to end! <laughs> Our boys get their happily ever after. And if you don't want to wait until the next anime series or movie, uh, you can read the manga. It's still ongoing. But uh, the author is extremely uh, bad at scheduling. <laughs> I haven't read the manga. I'm satisfied with this conclusion. And the movie, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a good way to end the series for me in the movie. If they make a season two, of course, I'll watch it. But it's good so far <laughs> to me, you know? It's like uh, the end of Horimiya. They end in graduation, and you assume they're happily ever after. I mean, they could do the... But I would like to see the season two. You know, they could do the cherry blossoms after winter thing, where we get to see them go to college together, then their first job, and then they're happily ever after at the end of the series. And I'm so glad we finally got more kiss and cuddly stuff in the movie. Like, actual kiss and cuddling. Not just one kiss and a lot of cuddling. <laughs> and you can tell that they'll be together no matter what. So I highly recommend this movie if you've seen the series. Why will you watch this movie if you haven't seen the series, you know? Just a couple of announcements. Uh, this avatar may change appearance as uh, time goes on. I can modify it. I'll probably change uh, the shirt <laughs> to something else. I'll probably add a jacket, change the hair. I'll see what I can do with this avatar. Uh, the instructions are in Japanese and I can't read it. <laughs> so Google Translate is gonna is gonna it's gonna be my best friend. This has been all. This has been Ren, our alias. Bye bye.